The restaurants call Tel Aviv, but this is Warsaw. It celebrates the Jewish state, though the patrons themselves mostly aren't Jewish. I have no Jewish friends or family, no Jewish roots, and I don't know any Jewish people. But I come here a lot to try the Jewish cuisine. The owner is Malka Kafka, a 43-year-old Polish convert to Judaism. She married an Israeli and opened her restaurant, now part of the visible renewal of Jewish life in Poland. I'm really proud of it that uh, more you are open and more you show I'm Jewish, I have uh, Magen David, this symbol, Jewish symbol, the less people can touch you, yes, they can hurt you because you don't uh, pretend. More than three million Polish Jews perished in the Holocaust. The 10% of the population that survived mostly immigrated. The few who stayed often hid their identities. But that's slowly starting to change, says Barbara Gimblet, curator of the new museum on the history of Polish Jews. It will strengthen the confidence of individuals in Poland that might have been reluctant to, uh, if you will, identify publicly or even privately let their children know that they had a Jewish parent or grandparent. Just across from the museum, a monument honoring the rebellion of the so-called Warsaw Ghetto. Most remember it as failed, but bold. We're in the heart of what was once Warsaw's Jewish ghetto. It was here that the capital's Jews were gathered and kept and eventually deported. It's now mostly a business district with offices and brand new condos, but there are signs of Jewish revival here. A kosher restaurant, a Jewish theater, and a brand new community center right behind me. Michael Shudrich is Poland's chief rabbi. He says the children and grandchildren of those who stayed behind are slowly starting to rediscover their identity. We cannot change the number of Jews killed during the Holocaust. We can change the number of Jews lost. If we do nothing to open the door to Jewish culture and tradition, then most likely none of them will return to the Jewish people. Shudrich admits Jewish life in Poland, as it once was, may never return. But at least, he says, there's now a light ahead. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Warsaw.